Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today again. Welcome to this, our second Ways to Bank session. My name is Richard. I'm a community banker for Ulster Bank. Uh, today, delighted to be joined again by my colleague, Keith. Thanks, Richard. And thanks, everyone, again, for joining us today. Uh, my name's Keith, and I'm also an Ulster Bank community banker. And we're here today because we know a lot of you are following the UK government's guidelines on social distancing. Uh, you'll see from the setup today that has affected how Keith and I work together as it has for many of our colleagues across Ulster Bank to ensure that we continue to support our customers. So we understand it's changed a lot about how you do things and it may have changed how you do your banking. And you might not be able to bank with us in the way that you're used to. But don't worry, Keith and I are here today to support you and to tell you about how you can bank from the comfort and the safety of your own home. Thanks, Richard. Uh, that's right. We're going to tell you how you can stay in control and manage your money safely in these very uncertain times that we've found ourselves in. So today we're going to show you how secure, quick and easy it is to use our mobile app. Thanks, Keith. Uh, and today we're going to spend time looking at three features of our app uh, our customers find really useful, uh, including how to check your balance and recent transactions. Uh, we'll take a look at how you can pay a bill uh, or send money to someone. Uh, and we'll also show you how you can move money between your accounts helping to make your day-to-day -day banking really quick and easy. Yeah, thanks, Richard. And I'm sure for the ones that have joined us today, we'll have some questions as we go through today's session. So, guys, please feel free to comment below, and we will have time at the end to answer some of your questions, or our digital team will get back to you with the answer. So please keep posting as we go through today's session. Absolutely. Please keep those questions coming by typing in the comments section below. Okay, so let's talk about the Ulster Bank mobile app. Our app is available to customers aged 11 or over with a compatible Apple or Android device. Uh, you must have a UK or international mobile number. Uh, specific countries do apply. So let's look at security. Now, when it comes to doing your banking on your mobile phone or even uh, a tablet, say like your iPad, a lot of my customers ask me the same question. How safe is it, Richard? So Keith, how safe is it? Really good question, Richard, and one that I would get asked uh, quite often when I'm speaking to my customers. I suppose it's quite understandable why they would ask it as well, because when it comes to your banking, you want it to be safe and secure. Um, at Ulster Bank, security is our number one priority, and we do take it very seriously, and that includes with our mobile banking. On our mobile, our mobile app is actually really a secure way to bank. None of your details are stored on your phone. And when you use, we use the latest technology uh, to monitor your account 24 seven and that keeps you safe. Yeah, Keith, it's great peace of mind. Uh, and I found of lots of my customers have been really pleasantly surprised just at the ease of the security features that, and the scam advice that's built into the app. Uh, so you can easily explore the support available via the help section that is within your app. Absolutely, and I too have found that the scam advice uh, really helpful when I'm talking to my customers. I uh, suppose, especially during these uncertain times, uh, like the coronavirus outbreak, uh, we know scammers, they're always really trying to find new ways of trying to scam people. And the, this uh, crisis that we found ourselves in, it's probably an even greater opportunity for scammers to target us. Absolutely, Keith. Uh, and our role as community bankers is to help keep people safe from fraud and scams. Anyone and everyone can fall victim to fraud and scams. And that's why it's really important to remember that no bank or trusted organization will ever contact you out of the blue and ask you to move money from your account into a safe account. And we will never ask you for your full anytime pin or password or any other security details such as your card reader codes, one-time passwords, or your app passcode. Absolutely, Richard, and some great advice and some great tips there. Uh, in addition to that, when banking on our mobile app, you're protected by what we call our secure banking promise. This means that as long as you keep your security information safe, we'll refund any money that's paid out of your account. Yeah, that's right, Keith. And we have some uh, great security advice on staying safe from fraud and scams on our website, uh, including up-to-date information on some of the, the coronavirus scams that we're seeing currently. So please, after today's session, why don't you head there for more information? Uh, but first things first, uh, the benefit from the mobile app uh, you need to make sure that you're registered. It's really quick and easy to do so. And you can find step-by-step -step instructions on our website to help you get set up, uh, as you'll see illustrated uh, coming up on the screen now. 
Yeah, and it takes less than five minutes to get set up uh, and running with the app. And we just need to have your up-to-date mobile number. And what's great as well is when you first sign in, if you're using a compatible device, we'll ask you to turn on your fingerprint or your face login, which means that you can log in securely and quickly uh, every time that you want to view your account. And you can really do this uh, while using your fingerprint or face login without having to remember pins or passwords. Yeah, Keith, I really, really love that feature. It makes using the app really easy and simple. And given the unprecedented times that we're now facing, you know, when I when I think uh, of family catch-ups, Keith, instead of heading out for a barbecue, it tends down to be a, a family quiz around a screen. Or when I think of needing to, to buy something, I tend to, to grab my phone and go online. Uh, not sure about you, Keith, but uh, my screen time has definitely increased over the past few weeks. Yeah, Richard, mine too. And we now have a weekly family quiz as well. I suppose when uh, we're spending more time uh, using technology, uh, really communicating with friends and family, but I suppose people could be doing their shopping online as well. So uh, what is the best way we can keep track of our money? Um, for me, Keith, this is where the, the mobile app comes into its own. Uh, my customers find that because the app is so easy and so handy, uh, they are more in control of their finances. They can do their banking wherever and whenever they want. Uh, once you log in, you can see all the accounts that you hold with this. Uh, as you'll see on screen now, it's really clear what the balance is, is on those screen or those accounts. And all you have to do is just simply tap into an account and you'll see a list of your transactions. So, so Keith, this is exactly the same as a balance inquiry that you get uh, from us in the branch or at the ATM when you want to see what you've spent over the past few days. Yeah, Richard, really quick and uh, um, um, easy to get your balances and recent transactions from your app now. And um, what's great about banking your phone is that you can see your payment transactions as well at the top of the list. So this is when you've made a payment with your debit card. Um, it will show straight away onto your app uh, as a payment transaction, meaning that you can see what's due to come out of your account before it actually does. So how great is this We feature as well? This will usually take three to four days uh, for transactions to process and appear on your cleared transactions. So this is because the merchant, the place that you've made the transaction. So for example, if you're doing grocery shopping, it would be the supermarket. They're the ones that would be processing and clearing the payment at their end. But we want to give you complete visibility of your available balance so that you can stay, always stay in control uh, of your finances on, and check your, be able to check your account. Yeah, Keith, and seeing uh, your pending transactions straight away is another great benefit for, for having the app. And I know we're, we're not out and about at the moment, but we still have all bills to pay. Uh, or my customers tell me that they, they may need to, to send someone uh, maybe who's helping doing, uh, doing their shopping for them. So it is important to know uh, that you can do this from the, the comfort and the safety of your own home using simply your phone or tablet. Yeah, another great point, Richard. And our uh, app will allow you to securely send money to a company or someone else, even if you haven't paid them before. Uh, you'll see from the display on the screen now that all you need is the name of the person or company you're sending the money to, their account number and sort code. Just remember as well, but you must be age 16 or over uh, in order to make a payment via your mobile app. Uh, when our, what our customers also love is that it takes an average less than a minute to pay someone new uh, using the app. And you can send up to a maximum of five payments in one day up to the value of £1,000. Yeah, Keith, and for our customers who, who may not have the account details to make a payment, so let's say um, you owed money to, to a friend, you can also take advantage of your pay your contacts feature within the app. So this allows you to send money to someone uh, using just uh, their name and mobile number. Uh, and for this service, you can make a maximum of 20 payments totaling £250 per day. Yeah, Richard, and uh, what a great way to be able to send money, uh, especially during these uncertain times that we're in. Uh, I suppose uh, without needing their banking details as well. So you don't even need their banking details to do this. Uh, so you can also receive money this way. You do, however, need to have uh, be signed up to the mobile payment service PayM, which is available on eligible accounts. You can easily set PayM up uh, via our profile, your profile in the app. Yeah, another great benefit of our app. Thanks for that, Keith. Uh, I get lots of questions from customers asking, 
how they know that they're sending money to the right person. You know, they'll say to me, you know, Richard, what happens if I press the wrong button? Or, or Richard, what happens if I add too many zeros yeah. to the amount that I want to send? Yeah, really fair point there, Richard. And sometimes, I suppose when I'm talking to my customers, uh, they tell me it's a fear of the unknown uh, that may be holding them back or just they're not comfortable with technology. Uh, but just like transfer money um, when you're in the branch, uh, the app will always ask you to check and confirm the transaction before money is paid out of your account. And for some extra reassurance as well, uh, when you're sending your money to someone else, to prevent money from going to the accidentally being sent to the wrong person or the wrong account, we'll check the name and the account details match up. And if they don't, uh, or something just doesn't look quite right, uh, we'll let you know. Uh, you'll also see a message uh, from us just to take some extra time and advice, uh, basically just to take a wee moment just to think about who you're sending money to. Uh, it's really important that you know the person that you're sending money to and that you're comfortable to do this uh, before continuing. Please, even if you have any doubt whatsoever, don't continue with the payment. Yeah, Keith, and that scam advice has been really helpful for, for customers who, who were hesitant at the start to maybe to send money using their mobile. Yeah, but uh, Richard, it's great to know that the mobile app is safe to explore uh, and the bank of actually lots of extra resources and advice available to help. Yeah, absolutely. So um, moving on, uh, one of the common inquiries that we get uh, is from customers asking for money to be moved between their accounts. So let's say uh, you're moving uh, money from your savings account into your current account, maybe when you've got a bill to pay. So it's really easy to transfer money between your accounts on our mobile app. Uh, you know, I can think of a time recently where I was buying a, a present for my wife. Uh, I simply logged into the app, transferred money from my savings account, uh, and it was all done in probably less than 20 seconds. Yeah, I bet it was really quick and easy to do that, Richard. And I suppose it's really great to know that uh, we can have control over our money whenever we need it most, and especially during the uncertain times that we find ourselves in. Yeah, absolutely, Keith. And I think having that ability to control when money leaves your account at your fingertips is really reassuring. Uh, you can also do this for your regular outgoings too. So you'll have a full list of your direct debits from within your app. Uh, I was speaking to a customer recently, Keith, by the phone, uh, and he was uh, going to go to the branch to cancel the direct debit uh, because he didn't know that he could do this on his mobile phone. So he was really pleased to learn that they can now complete this from, from home. Uh, and I recently cancelled the direct debit using the app, and it took me less than 30 seconds to do so. So please, just for our customers, please note, if you wish to cancel a direct debit, you have up until 8.20 p.m. UK time on the day the payment is due to cancel it. Excellent, Richard. And you can also manage your existing standing orders as well in your mobile phone or tablet. Uh, for example, recently I had to change the amount that I was putting into uh, one of my savings accounts and every month. And it was really simple and easy to do. But it's also important to know that uh, when cancelling or amending any standing orders via the app, you must give at least two working days notice to do so. Yeah, thanks for that, Keith. Folks, we really um, hope that today's uh, session has been really helpful. We hope it has encouraged you to get started with the Ulster Bank mobile app. Uh, that's why we've hosted today's session uh, to help everyone stay in control of their finances at this time, uh, to bank uh, with ease uh, uh, from the comfort and the safety of your own home. And remember, it's a quick, easy and secure way to do your banking. Yeah, and there are lots of extra resources available um, to benefit from banking your phone or tablet. Uh, in addition to the ways to, uh, sorry, the how-to videos on our website, we also have our dedicated YouTube um, channel for Ulster Bank and also the Coronavirus Hub um, on our website that offers additional support that you may need during this uh, time. And also, if you know someone uh, who would benefit from having the app, you can also use the recommend the app feature within your mobile app and this will send a link to them. So that's an actual great feature to use. Yeah, so we, I'm sure we can all think of friends or family or someone who, who could really use this at the minute. So, so please, please do that. Okay, so let's now go to uh, some questions. Uh, if you have any questions, please post in the comment section below. We'll try to answer the question for you now or a digital team uh, will come back to you. Please don't be posting any personal information, but let's see what, uh, what questions that you, you have for us today. Okay, uh, James uh, has joined us today. James, thanks for joining us today. Uh, and his question is, how much can I send to someone in the app? 
Keith, do you want to take that? Yeah, we covered that. We covered that earlier on, uh, which you can send uh, up to a thousand pound or five payments in the one day. So you can, and that's to somebody new as well. Yeah, uh, and if you're paying your contacts as well, you can send uh, up to two hundred and fifty pounds a day for that. But if you've already set a pay up as an existing payee, then um, you can set up payments up to twenty thousand. So Catherine uh, has a quick question. Uh, James, thanks for that. Catherine, uh, thanks for joining us today. Catherine, question is, my friend told me about PayM, so can you explain to me what PayM is? Yep. Do you want me to take that or do you want to take that, Richard? Go ahead, Kate, thanks. Yep, so PayM pay is a secure, it's, it's really a payment service that you can pay people uh, without actually having to have their banking details, so you don't need sort code or account number. So you can, just from the contacts in your phone, or their mobile number, you can actually send them uh, money. But just remember as well that you have to be sign signed up for the PM service and eligible accounts um, you can do this with. And their bank will also have to be signed up for this service as well to be able to receive it. Yeah, and then you can just you nominate one account basically to make payments to yeah. uh, and, and receive payments from. Uh, thanks for that, uh, Catherine. Uh, Lucy, thanks for joining us today. So. Um, uh, hello, uh, is there any way to view my statements uh, in the app? Uh, happy to take that, uh, Lucy, or, uh, Keith. Uh, Lucy, so you can basically make, uh, you'll receive up to uh, uh, seven years of payments uh, on transactions uh, within your app. Um, so, so basically a lot of our customers now actually um, uh, prefer not to have paperless or to go paperless. So you can basically view those transactions and you can go in and search for transactions uh, within the app as well. Plus you have a secure inbox, basically where we will see, send you uh, uh, lots of information basically about your account as well. And that, anything else, Keith? Other than that? Yeah, I think as well, if you want to uh, actually print off uh, statements or print off um, some of your transactions, you will need to log into your Anytime Banking to be able to do this. Okay, thanks for the question. Good question, Lucy. Um, a question from Emma. Thanks for joining us today, Emma. Where can I get more support if I don't uh, or don't want to go to a branch? Uh, Emma, great question. And uh, suppose uh, today, um, uh, in these circumstances, people are are uh, staying at home as, absolutely as much as as possible. Uh, but it's important for us as a bank that we can support you. Um, and, and and the app is a great way of, of doing that. I uh, suppose if you're asking maybe questions around the functionality of the app, there's lots of uh, um, uh, uh, how-to videos within the, the, the um, our website. Um, so please go there also to our YouTube channel, as Keith talked about earlier on. We have lots of, uh, of tutorials and videos and just uh, to show you how the features of the app uh, work. Uh, but also we've got within the app itself, if you go to the help section, you can go to the show me how. So if you're doing something for the first time, you want a wee bit, a bit more support to it, then as I say, go to the, the help uh, section within your app to the to the show me how features. Anything else, Kate, I've missed on that? Yeah, I think as well, just, just within the app that we uh, help button at the bottom, you do have message us. So any questions whatsoever to do with your app or even banking in general, uh, you can ask message us and uh, somebody will get back to you. Yeah, I've used the message us for loads of different yeah. things um, and it's uh, really useful. Uh, so please please check that one out as well. Another good, good shout out, Keith. Thanks for that. Um, Siobhan has joined today. Thanks, Siobhan, for, for joining our session. Hopefully you find it yeah. really uh, beneficial. Um, how do I cancel a regular car payment? Great question, Siobhan. Keith, do you have to take that? Yeah, so Siobhan, really good question. Uh, so regular card payments. So this is a payment sort of bit different to your stand orders, your direct debits. Uh, so sometimes when we're uh, setting a regular payment up, we'll just give the company or give the subscription or card details. So if you want to cancel it, first thing uh, you would you would normally do would be go to the merchant or go to the subscriber or the company uh, to try to cancel with them. Uh, if, if not, or you can't contact them, you can go to our app. There's two ways you can do it. So you can click on the actual transaction and then you can click on more help within that. And it will give you it will give you a cancel regular payment section uh, on that. And this will bring you through to a online form that you will have to complete. Or you can simply go as well to the message us and just say, how do I cancel a regular payment? And that will bring you up the link as well. Yeah. 
and 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 Siobhan, what I would say probably for a lot of us, we're maybe not using as, as many subscriptions now that, that 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 we are because we're not out and about as much. So so a, a good uh, a top tip in terms of saving some money, just look at at, at payments that are going out of your account uh, and and look uh, uh, follow Keith's instructions there in terms of how to to cancel it. I think that's all the questions that you have for us. If you do have any uh, um, questions, please keep uh, um, posting below. Our digital team will get back to you. Uh, and as I say, we hope you have found it, um, uh, the, the session useful. If you have, and if you know of anyone basically within your community, friends or family who would benefit from this, why don't you just go on and share this link with them uh, and, and let them basically uh, enjoy this uh, uh, session too. So that's it for today, but we will be back again soon uh, with more top tips on how you can bank uh, with your mobile app. Yep. So thanks, Richard. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining us today. So please stay tuned because we're going to have a short video with some of the uh, features and benefits that we've discussed today. So we're back at 2.30 to explore some of the great features uh, from our Anytime Banking. So why don't you stay tuned, grab a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, and please remember to stay safe and stay at home.
Hi everyone, thanks for joining us uh, today again for this, our second Ways to Bank session. My name is Richard, uh, I'm a community banker for Ulster Bank. Uh, delighted to be joined again today by my colleague Keith. Thanks Richard, and um, thanks again everyone for joining us today. Uh, my name's Keith and I'm an Ulster Bank community banker. And we're here today because we know a lot of you are following the UK government's guidelines on social distancing. Uh, you'll see from our setup today how it's affected Keith and I working together as it has for all our colleagues across Ulster Bank to ensure that we continue to support our customers at this time. So we understand that it has changed a lot about how you do things. It may have changed how you do your banking and you might not be able to bank in the way that you're used to. Uh, but don't worry, Keith and I are here to support you and to tell you about how you can bank from the comfort and the safety of your own home. Thanks Richard and um, that's right we're going to tell you how you can stay in control and manage your money safely in these uncertain times that we've found ourselves in. Uh, so today we're going to show you how secure, quick and easy it is to use anytime banking. Thanks Keith. Uh, yeah today we're going to spend time looking at three different features of anytime banking uh, that our customers find really useful uh, including how to check your balance on recent transactions uh, we'll also take a look at how you can pay a bill or send money to, to someone else. Uh, and we'll also show you how you can move money between your own accounts just to help you make your day-to-day -day banking really quick and easy. Thanks, Richard. And I'm sure you will uh, have some questions as we go through today's session. So please feel free to comment below and our team will get back to you. Yeah, please do your pop uh, your questions on there uh, below, please. Uh, so, okay, so let's look at Anytime Banking. Ulster Bank Anytime Banking is available to customers aged 11 or over with an Ulster Bank account. Uh, and when it comes to doing your banking on a laptop or a computer, uh, a lot of my customers ask me about security. So, so Keith, can you just tell us how safe is Anytime Banking? Really great question, Richard. I'm um, one that I will get asked uh, from time to time in my um, role as a community banker. Uh, and it's completely understandable because when it comes to your money, uh, you want your banking to be as safe and secure as possible. Uh, at Ulster Bank, security is our number one priority and we do take it very seriously. Yeah, I, I've found, Keith, that uh, lots of my customers have been pleasantly surprised just at the ease of the security features and the scam vice uh, that, is, that is built into Anytime Banking. Yeah, absolutely. And I too have found when I'm speaking to my customers, the scam advice really, really helpful especially during these uncertain times that we've found ourselves in. Uh, we all know scammers. They're always trying to find new ways of trying to scam people. And a crisis like this is no different. And they probably see us as an even greater opportunity to target us. Absolutely right, Keith. And our role as community bankers is to help keep people safe from fraud and scams. Anyone and everyone can fall victim to fraud and scams. And that's why it's really important to remember that no bank or trusted organization will ever contact you out of the blue and ask you to move money from your account into a safe account. Uh, and we will never ask you for your full anytime PIN or password or any other security details, such as your card reader codes or your one-time passcodes. Yeah, and in addition to that as well, Richard, when banking online, you're protected by what we call our secure banking promise. So this basically means that as long as you keep your security information safe, uh, we'll refund any money that's paid out of your account. Uh, that's right, Keith. And we have some great advice on staying safe uh, from fraud and scams on our website, uh, including up-to-date information on some of the coronavirus scams that we're seeing currently. So please head there for more information after today's session. Uh, but first things first, uh, to benefit from Anytime Banking, you need to make sure that you're registered. So just to recap, it's really uh, quick and easy. Uh, and you can find the step-by-step -step instructions on our website to help you get set up, uh, as illustrated on the screen now. Yeah, and also if you wish, you can go back and check out our last session where we covered off what to expect uh, the first time that you sign up to Anytime Banking. And also we covered the re-registration journey as well. Uh, and in addition, when you're banking online, you have the extra layer of security from uh, provided from uh, what we call the card reader. Yeah, Keith, can you just remind us just what a card reader is uh, and what it does? Yeah, sure, Richard. A uh, card reader is basically simply a security device needed by all customers that are really looking to get the most out of their anytime banking. And it's also there to keep your, uh, your money safe and secure from online fraud. So it allows you to set up new payments, uh, change details, and basically do lots, a lot more um, 
you can order your card readers through your anytime banking uh, and it normally will take seven working days to arrive but please just remember at the moment it may take longer due to the postage delays yeah keith so uh, i've just received my new card reader in the post uh, so there's an additional step that i need to do uh, to complete before i can use it isn't that right yeah uh, when it arrives you'll have to do what we call enable your card reader so simply to do this, you log on to your Anytime Banking and go to the security section and basically just enable it. So this essentially switches it on and lets the bank know that you have received, you're the person that has received the card, the card reader. Uh, thanks for that, Keith. And that's the same for replacement card readers as well as new ones. Uh, and for most of our customers, you already have your Ulster Bank debit card or your Ulster Bank credit card. Uh, and if you don't have one, don't worry, you will be prov provided with a, an online banking card that will allow you to use your card reader. Uh, and again, Keith, can you just remind our, our viewers just how they use a card reader? Yeah, uh, again, Richard, really simple and easy to use. You'll be asked to put your card into the card reader and enter your PIN and then simply just follow the instructions on screen. Also, please remember that we will never, as a bank, uh, contact you to ask you for your card reader details. So it's so vitally important that you don't provide these to anyone and please keep them safe and secure at all times. Uh, for this, we do have a step-by-step how-to video on our YouTube channel. If you wish, you can follow along at home after today's tutorial. Yeah, uh, great tip. Thanks, Keith. Uh, and given the unprecedented times that we're, we're now facing, you know, Keith, when I think of like family catch ups, instead of heading out for a barbecue, uh, it now tends to be a, a family quiz around a screen. Or, or when I think of needing to buy something, uh, I tend to grab my phone and go online. Uh, I'm not sure about you, Keith, but, m but my screen time has, has definitely increased over the past few weeks. Yeah, uh, I know as a family here, our screen time is drastically increased and that's due to we have a weekly family quiz even catching up with other friends and family as well and I suppose for everybody using technology has really become a way of communicating with with people um, and also possibility of the way we're doing our online shopping as well uh, but when we're doing this Richard what's the best way we can keep track of our money uh, for me Keith this is where, where anytime banking is really great you know, my customers find it so easy, uh, so handy. Uh, they're more in control of their finances. Uh, they can do their banking when, whenever they want. You know, once you log in, you'll see all the accounts that you hold with us. Uh, it's really clear what the balance is on those accounts. Uh, and all you have to do is to, to click into an account and you'll see a list of your recent transactions. So, so Keith, it's exactly the same as a balance inquiry that you get uh, from us if you're in the branch or at an ATM uh, when you want to see what you've spent over the past few days. Brilliant, Richard. And uh, it's really quick and easy that you know how you can get your balance in recent transactions. And what's also great about Anytime Banking is that you can also see your payment transactions at the top of the list. So this is when you make a payment with your debit card. It will show straight away onto your Anytime Banking as a payment transaction, meaning that you can see what is due to come off your account before it actually does. So another great feature uh, of Anytime Banking. This will usually take three, these payments usually take three to four days uh, to be processed and appear as cleared on your list. And this is simply because it's the merchant. Uh, for example, if you do your uh, grocery shopping, it'll be the supermarket. It's the merchant that is the ones responsible for processing and clearing the payment at their end. But we just want you to give complete visibility uh, and availability of balance so that you can stay in control of your finances on your account at all times. Yeah, absolutely, Keith. And, and, and seeing your pendant transaction straight away is another great benefit for using Anytime Banking. Uh, and although we're not out and about at the moment, uh, we all still have bills to pay. Or my customers tell me that they, you know, they may need to send money to someone to say somebody's maybe helping them to do, to do their shopping. So it is important to, to know that you can do this from the comfort and the safety of your own home. Uh, yeah, and... Um... Sorry. Nice. Yes, yeah, so Anytime Banking does allow you just to securely log in and, 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 and check and send money to, to uh, a company or to someone else, uh, even if you haven't paid them uh, before, Keith. Yeah, and you'll see this uh, from the display on the screen now. All you need is the name of the person or the company you're sending money to. 
uh, their accounts or their and their sort code. And if you haven't paid them before, just please remember this time that you'll need your card reader. Uh, personal customers can send a maximum of 20,000 per working day. And if you're a business or premier customer, uh, you can send a maximum of 50,000 per working day. But just also remember that you need to be age 16 or over to be able to do this. Yeah, that's great, Kate. Thanks for that. I also get lots of questions from my customers asking how they know they're sending money to the right person. You know, they'll say to me, you know, Richard, you know, what if I press the wrong button or, or Richard, you know, what's going to happen if I add too many zeros to the amount that I want to send? Really fair point, Richard. And sometimes there's a fear of the unknown that holds my customers back when talking to them. Maybe they're just not very comfortable with using the latest technology, but just like transferring uh, money if you're in the branch, Anytime bank will always ask you to check and confirm the transaction before the money actually leaves your account. Uh, and for some extra reassurance, when you're sending money to someone new or someone else uh, to prevent your money from accidentally being sent to the wrong account, we'll check the name uh, and the account details match up, and we'll let you know uh, if they just will let you know something just doesn't look quite right if they don't. You'll also see a message from uh, on our screen that will ask you to take some advice and just take that extra moment and think about who you're actually sending money to. Because it is really, really important to, that you know the person you're sending the money to and that you're comfortable to do this before pro uh, proceeding. And anytime you've ever any doubt whatsoever, please do not continue to make the payment. Yeah, absolutely right, Keith. And uh, that scam advice has been really helpful for customers who were initially hesitant uh, to send money using their computer. Yeah, and it's great also, Richard, to know that anytime banking is safe uh, to explore and the bank have lots of re extra resources available to help. Yeah, thanks for that, Keith. So one of our most common inquiries that we get uh, is for customers who are asking for, for money to be moved between their accounts. So let's say uh, from their savings account to their current account uh, when they have a bill to pay. So it's really easy to transfer money between your accounts. Uh, Keith, I can think of a time and it was buying a, a birthday present for one of the kids. So I simply just logged on to Anytime Banking, transferred from my savings account to my current account to pay with my debit card. Yeah, and it's so quick and easy to do this as well, Richard. And it's great to have uh, the control over your money. I suppose whenever you need it most, and especially during the uncertain times that we've found ourselves in today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think having that ability to control what money leaves your account uh, from home is really reassuring. So you can do this as well with uh, all your regular payments too. So you'll have a full list of all your direct debits uh, from within Anytime Banking. Uh, Keith, I can think when a customer phoned me recently to ask you know, that they need to go to a branch to cancel a direct debit. And they were really pleased to learn uh, that they could now complete this at home. Uh, and I recently canceled the direct debit for Anytime, or through Anytime Banking uh, for a subscription that I'm not uh, using during this time. And it took me uh, probably less than a minute uh, to do so uh, and save me money uh, as well. So just for our customers, please note that if you uh, wish to cancel a direct debit, uh, you have up until 8.20 p.m. Uh, on the day that the payment is due to cancel it. Yeah, and Richard, uh, just to let you know as well that you can also set up and manage your existing stand orders uh, on your computer as well. So, for example, I know a number of weeks ago I had to change the amount that I was putting into a joint account that I have. And it was really handy and quick to be able to log on to my Anytime Bank and to be able to do this. But also just to let you know that uh, when cancelling or amending a stand order for your Anytime Banking, you must give at least two working days notice. Yeah, thank you, Keith. Uh, folks, we really hope that uh, this session has been helpful to you. Uh, we hope it has encouraged you to get started with, with Anytime Banking. Uh, that's why we've hosted today's session to help everyone stay in control of their finances at this time, uh, to bank with ease uh, from the comfort and the safety of your own home. Uh, remember, using Anytime Banking is a quick, easy and secure way to do your day-to-day -day banking. Yeah, and there are lots of extra resources available to help you uh, benefit from banking on your laptop or computer. In addition to the how-to videos that we've discussed, uh, you'll get these on our website. We also have our Ulster Bank YouTube channel, uh, which have lots of extra information and tutorials, plus the dedicated coronavirus hub uh, that for all the extra support that you'll need during this time. Brian, Kate, so 
Uh, let's see what questions you uh, want some answers to. If you have any questions based on today's session, please comment below. Uh, we'll see what questions uh, that, that they have for us. So we have one here from Yasmin. Yasmin, welcome and thanks for joining us today. Hello, how can I get my statements online instead of in the post? Keith, you have to take this one? Yep, thanks Yasmin and a great question. So uh, basically today is a lot of us want to go paperless, so we don't want to be getting statements in the post and uh, we can then log into our Anytime Banking. You can go back seven years, so you'll be able to view seven years transactions. So you can print these out as statements, so you can actually select certain periods in time uh, from, the, from the transaction, or you can download these to a PDF as well, so it's handy to actually send to somebody. Uh, foreign businesses uh, sometimes like to send to their accountants, so it's, it's great and handy to know that you can do that as well. Yeah, uh, and if you are still getting your paper, uh, statements through the post, Jasmine, uh, then basically what you can do, usually you'll get a, a prompt when you go to log in uh, to go paperless. Uh, yeah. And if you can't do that, you can do that within the, the menu setting within any time. Um, um, so so, so check, check that out uh, as well. And plus you'll have a, a secure uh, inbox within your Anytime Banking where basically uh, you'll get your statements uh, and you'll get uh, uh, other letters that, that we will send to you from time to time. Yeah. So good question. Thanks for that, Yasmin. Uh, another question coming through again from Yasmin. Sorry, another question. Can I change my settings so you text me when you're going overdrawn? Uh, happy to take that. Uh, thanks, uh, Jasmine. Another good question. So basically, yes, we will uh, send uh, you a, a text message to say when you're going into an arranged overdraft. Uh, but also you can uh, uh, set up within Anytime Banking a text message for certain limits. So if you go below a certain limit uh, or above a certain limit, again, you can get a text message. Uh, so if you go into your settings within Anytime uh, and amend basically your, your, your text messages, and we'll send you other text messages as well. For example, if you were to cancel a payment or uh, uh, maybe uh, change your address and things like that. So, so go in and check your text alerts for that. Any, any add on to that, Keith? No, uh, I think you've covered it all. Uh, just you can do this in your mobile banking as well. So you can, so you can manage your alerts. Okay, thanks for that. Um, a question from Emma. Thanks for joining us today, Emma. Um, what do I do if yep. my card reader stops working? Yep, I think I'll take that. And thanks, Emma, for your question and welcome today. So if your card reader stops working, uh, so it's a few things to check. Uh, if it hasn't been ever working, just make sure and check that you've actually enabled it. So go on to Anytime Banking and through the security uh, just to make sure and enable it. If you have enabled it and it has stopped working, you have been using it and stopped working, uh, you can check. Sometimes it's just the batteries will go on it. So you can actually go onto our website and that will tell you how to replace the batteries. And if it's still not working, you can log back on again and order a brand new one. Uh, just again through the security uh, section on our Anytime Banking. And it will take seven working days to uh, get out to you. And possibly it will take longer just through the postage delays at this period in time. Yeah. Uh, and when you get your new one, Emma, if you need a new one, uh, just remember to enable yeah. your, your uh, uh, card reader game. Uh, Siobhan's joined us. Siobhan, thanks for joining us today. Do Ulster Bank offer any free software to keep uh, my online banking safe? Uh, happy to take this, Keith. Um, um, so basically, yes, we do. We offer malware bytes. Um, uh, basically, so this is free uh, uh, software for your computer to protect you against viruses coming up on your computer. Um, so we encourage you, basically, it's free to all our customers. So we'd ask you to go to our website. If you go to the search button and go to Malware Bytes, Bytes spelled with B-Y-T-E-S. Uh, basically, all the, the information is there, basically, about Malware Bytes. Uh, and then all you simply do is log on to your online banking Go to your security section there and you can basically down, download a uh, malware bytes. So it's free for all our customers um, and uh, you can download it up to 10 devices yeah. and including all the main devices such as Microsoft, Apple uh, and Android. So absolutely, please, please uh, avail of that uh, at the minute for our customers. Uh, anything yeah. else, Keith? Yeah, no, it's just I've, I've done it for myself and my family as well. And it's brilliant to know that the software is there for free. Yeah, absolutely. And, and keeping our customers safe and secure is a priority, Siobhan. So please yeah. uh, do, do go there and, and set that up. Um, Fiona, uh, thanks for joining us today. So Fiona, a question about our mobile app. Uh, how do I set up Apple Pay? 
So basically, yeah. there's a feature. I'm going to take this, Keith. There's a feature within yeah. the app. Basically, if you, if you go into app, basically, that you can uh, basically set up Apple Pay for your debit card, your Bank debit cards, uh, and your, your credit cards. Um, uh, um, Keith, if you want to, you tell them how to do that actually uh, outside the app, actually just on your settings button. Yeah, uh, so you just go and go into your settings, and just at this point as well, you can also do that if you have an Apple Watch, so you can set up your Apple Pay on your Apple Watch and put your cards in that as well. Yeah, and ju or just go to the wallet uh, section within yeah. uh, uh, your wallet within Apple, or if you're on Android, again, go to uh, do the same thing. Basically, go to within the app, uh, or go to to Google for or uh, yeah. for your your Google uh, Google Pay. I think that's all the questions that we have coming up today. Some brilliant questions. So again, please comment below if you have any other questions. Our digital team uh, will will get back to you. But but thanks for all those uh, questions. I think that's it for today. Um, I, but we will be back again soon with more top tips on how you can bank uh, with Anytime Banking. Yep. So thanks, thanks, Richard. And we now have a short video with some of the features and benefits of our Anytime Banking. Uh, that we've discussed today so we we'll look forward to you joining us for the next session and um, thanks again richard and thanks for everyone for joining us today and please remember to stay safe and stay at home